Okay, they watching. It's popping. They watching. I was telling them that actually the art of this was that this was actually somebody that was really getting high. While he was getting high, he was talking and telling his whole story about why. Basically, same situation here, too. It's, a big, it's an art in all of this. You know what I mean? For me, I did this with no script, too. It was based on my experience in my brain. That was an art as well. Somebody's taking my call. That's crazy. That's crazy. My son made this beat. Buggy? Ooh. Buggy was scoring? Yeah. was a family business. Where's he at? He retired or what? You should have got him on the first three choice for him. Get curved left and right. He actually streams. If you guys want to catch the book stream, go on Twitch. Timothy uh, Bloom also scored this with me. Big shout out to Timothy Bloom. Oh, but this is how it really was for me. It was like I was like um, older than the young niggas, but younger than the older niggas, and I was getting money. So the older dudes liked me, so the younger dudes respected me. So Cam and all them, they were younger than me, so we'd be chilling, and I'd be like trying to tell them and pass my plugs for what I got from the older cats. But overall, I was always trying to make a play or a plan for everybody, you know? And also, I was always trying to keep everybody non-violent. So I'd be like, yo, you see, so these are how conversations would be. I'd be like, yo, y'all can't be getting all that wild money you know what i'm saying but then i had older dudes that was wild around me and i was like yo y'all bugging me because it's money you know what i'm saying but they would always keep me out the and i never understood why but i guess i know why they saw in me but i potentially didn't see it myself but actually i did they were like we're gonna see you do none of that dumb you're probably more useful to us outside making us all rich and that's what i'm doing i'm keeping at least the honorable ones you know ones that live by a creed and respected it, you know, for me, I'm with you, you know. I, and, and again, everybody plays by their own rules. And if you sign on to those rules, you got to respect it. But for me, I signed on to certain things at certain times, and I, I was playing by certain rules, and I'm not coming off of that, you know, period. That's Tommy. Hold on, it's Tommy. Me and Nitro. Me and Nitro. Hello, everybody. It's Nicolette here. Are y'all tuning in to Fox Soul right now? On a rough is on. Why don't we have this light on? Oh, Isa. Oh, smoke Dizza. We got Honor up right now on Fox Soul. Fox Soul. Come on up. I'll get Dan. Smoke Dizza. Hey, Tom, you know, they play, they, play, they play Honor up on the, on the, on the, on the but wait, hold on a second. I'm talking about, I'm going to front on you. So I, oh, my God, I'm about to front on you. Uh, all right. All right, later. Yo, what's, what's up, happening? Why, bum ass nigga? Well, what's up? What's, what's happening? Up, my, uh, it's fly. You the fly, bum ass nigga. <laughs> but I, I just wanted you to be aware that um, Honor Up is on Fox Soul right now. Oh, you know yeah, what that's saying? what we're doing? I mean, we're doing a lot. But right now, bare minimum, for right now, we on TV. You feel me? That's what I'm but, talking about. Yeah, and you know, it's a Harlem thing. We all from Harlem. We all made the movie because we hang out together. Oh, I think I'm gonna stun you a little more. So where that, where my chain go? <laughs> okay, look. Hey, let me stun on you real quick, all right? Let me see, man. All right, let me stun on you. <clears throat> First off, I got, I'm gonna call you offline and really stun on you, but hold on. You like? Like to, so my um, sister, I said happy belated birthday too, man. Well, you like the, the emeralds, the emerald flow? Nah, I'm, I'm with that. 
Going with it's, that. it's decent. Nah, it's good money. That's old school, young. Old school. And it matters. Yeah. You know, it's set. Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay. I'll fuck with that. It's, it's old school. It's old school. Old school. Old school. New school. Look, look, look. look. The emerald for the joint. That's Fox Soul right there. Oh, we live right now. What's on top of him? You see that? I see. Yo. Oh, and also, by the way, I'm going to tell you a little more. You know, it's the senator. We are, we are here making deals right now. Senator uh, uh, Gary. What up, man? Peace, peace, peace. Gary, Indiana. Said he, and he passes laws, jumps on tables. You know? Okay, I, I see I see you on your press run right now. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you know what's going on? I'm, come, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in the sports business. I'm buying football teams. Well, you've been saying so, that for a minute, so it's in fruition. But I, I always know. remember I always told you to play, right? I said the play is after we get the TV and the, the movies. I'm going to go get to that sports. So this TV shit fact. and the movies, I got it. Trust me, I, I, I'm just, offline, we'll talk. But we rocking yeah, right now. Yeah, because, you know, I, I need a spot in that other thing you got going on. I've been hearing a lot of things. What, the fade or fool? I meant to call you, but. Now, you know I we'll got you, man. Come that. on. You know for a fact, whoever's been rocking with me, I'm always rocking with them. You know? No matter what. No matter what's going on, certain niggas with me no matter what. And you was definitely one of them dudes. That's why you in the movie now. That's why you my man. You a real Harlem nigga. All you know day. I mean? All day. You the godfather. You already know where I'm at with it. So, you know, not only do you have respect for me, you got respect for the game. And not too many people got are cut from that cloth anymore. So even me and you, <clears throat> you have to be a little outside a little more. But you're aware of the bubble gum in real time. And you're one of the only people that can actually see the, the, the funniness of it all. <laughs> <laughs> and also, what niggas don't understand about Harlem niggas is they stunt to motivate each other. So, you know, you enjoy me stunting on you. And I like when you stunt. You know what I mean? I'd be like, stunt on. But some people get offended when I stunt because I stunt so much, I can't help myself. You know what I mean? Nah, I love it. You motivate me when you do that. That get me but, excited, man. <laughs> But let's cut, let's keep it real. Oh, somebody from 142nd Street? All right, what's happening? Look, we shot this. Look at this. Remember this? We shot this in the gallery? Of course. Ah! You caught your first body on here. That's you caught the, your first the, body. <laughs> I was about to say, that's the body scene. You made your bones. This is where you hey, made yo, your bones I, at. I, I, you wish, know what I, wish we, I wish we had the bloopers. Remember the bloopers? Remember when I, I got the bloopers? Why you think I don't? <laughs> you got to send that to me. You, you know we about to um we gonna shoot honor up part two um this year. Well, you already know where I'm at. I'm ready well, for whatever. You know, well, that I got to knock out. Pay. I'm starting paying the full part two, probably um because it's a process. You know what I'm saying? So I'm starting paying the full part two. The process first. I'm casting the cards. So I got the BBS boys looking all over Europe for the cards. I'm, I'm gonna send you a couple of cards I already found. I was waiting for um, COVID for them to, them to go over there and pick them up. But the cars are characters. Them is gonna be characters. I the cars wait. are important. So first, I, I get the cars. See where you born with the story. I gotta see where you born with the story on this one. I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna keep it a secret. Of course, I know. But we ain't gonna talk I'll about. I tell it you right now. Kid. I'll tell you right now. All right. So, so tell me. There was a lot of different perspectives at that time. So you know, homeboy was hitting us with work. At, at the time, I took a loss, an elbow. And, you know, Jay Black, who's my brother, was his lieutenant. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, the lynch mob was around, and that's Lou Sims. So he has a perspective. And last but not least, Kevin Childs, who was his man, it was right there the whole time. We all have different perspectives, and we was all getting certain kinds of bread. But at the end of the day, we were all cool with each other. All of us knew each other. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to just get the personal stories from my friends. That's it. Well, that's a that's good it. way to carry it. Because, so, you know, paying the full is something you can't be playing with. Not it has at to all. Be the truth. So out of respect for it, I had to wait for certain people to come home. You know what I'm saying? Certain people to be able to speak about certain things. And now we're going to tell the real story. But when I did it with Dimension, you know, that was the experience that made me say I'm doing it on my own because they were controlling, the, they were trying to control the story. The, the narrative, and a lot of right. things they were saying were not co co um, consistent what really happened. And y'all saw, I was beefing with the Weinstein nigga way before the Me Too. And I don't even be wanting to get a homie now because he got worse than that. Yeah, I, 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 what's that on him? him? That's a fact. 
you know? But I'm just saying I was in, on his head before it was popular. You feel me? And they thought, they thought you was crazy, too. Thought I was I nuts. They don't think you crazy now. But, but what I'm not going to do is get in another situation where they're telling me how to make this story. I, you ain't going to tell me how to make pain in full. I was there. You feel me? <laughs> so I had to be in position to do it my way, like Frank Sinatra. And and or, only way to do that is to be the landlord. You got to own the building. You got to own the land. Got to own the building. So I own the network now. You feel me? I have a network that partnered up that I can distribute what I want, when I want, how I want. So, you know, I'm not going to break another network with this work. I break my own network with this work. And then also, you know, the reason why I've been doing press is because, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm sick of the NFL's getting on my nerves. You know what I mean? I don't mm. like the fact there's no black owners. So I'm getting at Jerry Jones and I'm starting the league. I started it. It starts actively now. Uh, team Tampa Bay and Cyclones. So I own that with my man Alton. And uh, we getting at it all year round. So I don't want to fit in. I want to get at them. With that. You know, we got to have our own league. So you got to think about what it feels like to be a football player, NFL football player. Your lifeline, the person that pays you, someone is your guy. That's your lifeline. <coughs> right? And the only person that's paying you in this instance is your owner. Owner. Right? Oh. Owner. And... There's only white owners. So all a black football player got to look to is a white man to pay him, and that makes him his God. So basically what happens is you got a bunch of white men in the owner's box watching black men get concussions. And they, the, the, the black men walk away traumatized, and they laugh at us that we're recyclable, and we don't get recognized. So there's no black head coaches. There's no black owners. None of that shit. And that has got to stop. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna complain about the way a nigga do things in his house. I just go build my own house. You feel me? And you know how we get down. I'm from Harlem. Imagine somebody telling some, yo, could you imagine that? One of us bending a knee for some bread? How funny would that be? How, how, how much would Harlem be smacking me in my neck if they ever saw me bending a knee for some bull? Yeah, you'll be getting a lot of gills. Gills. <laughs> <laughs> Nick be killing you all day. Yo, you, you know you just me up with you. That's the real. You just <laughs> niggas know you really family with that one. Oh, that's the funny shit right there. The nigga said the gills. You know, niggas hey, don't want the gills, don't, right? Don't front. This ain't no cigar, Dusko. This food, this pack with weed right here. This is a Godfather. That's just for the niggas you, out there. You, you smoking your strand? Huh? You smoking your strand? Mm-hmm. Okay, Always. that's a big, that's a, that pause, that's some Snoop Dogg looking shit right there. You feel me? All right. I, I, you know, you smoking like a king. You a Harlem king. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. So, yeah, I got a lot of surprises, but at the end of the day, I've shaken up a lot of industries. I look at myself as an industry conqueror. You know, you see what I did in music, movies, TV. I got to swing on them in sports, Smoke. I gotta swing gotcha. on it. I gotta, I gotta try. I gotta gotcha. try. I just want. To, I just. I just. Uh -huh. Oh, I gotta zoom in seven with who? Oh, what? With who? Okay. But well, anyway, I'm, I'm so coming up right there. Our movie. We made this shit with no script, bro. I know. We just we just got inspired and started shooting. Remember? Of course, nigga. All up in Harlem at the gallery. All that. Shit. And cast skills. We had a good skills. We had a good all time. that. We had fun though. That was fun. I got the making of it on the um on the joint as well. You feel me? Yeah, that need to come out, man. Niggas need to see that. So you want some OG fly niggas right now? You almost oh, they calling you OG yet? Yeah, it's scary. What you man. got going on right now? You got a tour? You know what? You know what I love that you so low about the fact that you own the Smokers Club, right? I ain't low about it though. You just be knowing. I, I definitely we got the festival. We got the festival coming. You know what I mean? Them booked everybody's favorite artists. You know what I mean? So, uh, I got a surprise group album coming. I got a bunch of cool coming. Me and them got a got an album coming at the end of the month. You know I gotta get my nigga hot. 
keep it keep it hard. So, yeah, now, first of all, Nim is killing it. Nim of got course. better jewelry than all the rappers that got platinum. That's he a traveled fact. around the world. He That's got, a fact. He got with the big bucks with Nim. Nim is a real he out here killing. That's a fact. I fuck with Low. I fuck with Low. Low I out here killing. Facts. Now he he, he represents Harlem very well. I fuck with him. I like him. Absolutely. So you already know I got to. You know now that I, you know. Brother. You know now that I got these teams, that means I have stadiums to perform in. So you know it's gonna be the Super Bowl every single week. So Tampa, um, when you wanna Wait. go, when you wanna perform, I'll give you the dates. But you know, some real niggas is performing. It's a whole ten thousand people. Well, you just let me know the dates. I'm there. You know how I play. I'm All right, well, come up. sit in the owner's box with me. You feel me? Pause. I, look, I'm bringing my Kohee. I'm bringing the Kohee for me and you, man. Two Godfathers, seven grandmas. You know what I mean? We're going to do this the right way. Now we're going to do it. The, well, we fought hard, stuck to our guns. Also, you remained independent when you could have got signed a million times. But you Absolutely. always made sure that you was doing licensing deals, which I like, very young. You know? So you know the business model very well. Plus, you spent a lot of time in the gallery with me, so you didn't really have too many choices. But either way, you, you were doing things the right way. You know what I mean? For fact. So as a result, you still here, still very relevant. You still crispy. You know what I'm saying? We've seen a lot of niggas come and go. Niggas get ashy. You feel me? Do get ashy. Ain't lie about that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie. You definitely brought the, um, um, what's the name in here? The, um, <laughs> Um, what they the super rappers now? I right, cause I, now I'm hearing them separate. What's the, what? what? <laughs> you brought Hall and Wu Tang in, here, huh? You had them in the living room in Sherman Oaks. I did though. <laughs> I did. I did. He did. I'm actually he about did. to go get with West right now. A word? Hell yeah, he in the city. Wait, but that's who you brought to my house. West Side Gun, yep. That was West Side Gun you brought to my house that day. We must have took pictures, right? We had to. I think I got him. Man, that's some funny ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'll be knowing, Dusko. That was like four or five years ago. Yo, so when we going to do the rock and roll project? When I come back out to L.A. at the end of the month. You always say that, but you always doing another project. Nah, uh, man. Because every Why time I come over here, you just come check me. Talking shit, cool. laughing. Next time. Why you can't just come out here just to come check me? It's always like, I'm coming in. I'm, like, I'm going to pull up while I'm doing this. I can. I can. Huh? I can. I will. You know, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just or do it. Or you can meet me at the ranch in L.A. I mean, the ranch in Wyoming, because, you know, we got that there. Do it on 25 acres. Or we could do it in Florida. I got new studios in Florida. Now, let's acres. go to Wyoming so I can get on the ATVs, man. All right, back. It's the summertime. There's something that We'll do that in the summer. I don't, want, I don't like it out there when it's cold. Just tell me which location you want to meet. <laughs> Judge, you know I I'm like this place. I'm about to start to, yo, which <laughs> property you want to meet me? <laughs> <laughs> yo, what part of the country you want to meet me on to go make this, to go do this? Man, look. Wyoming, Florida, New York, or... Or or LA. LA hot. So I think I'm coming to Wyoming, man. LA, yeah, LA's too hot. We should do it at uh out there, man. Let's do it in Wyoming. We could do it in Wyoming. And uh because I'm I'm a shoot I, I gotta finish up um the Prince of Detroit. I gotta shoot four more hours. So I'm gonna knock that out in um March. And then I gotta shoot this zombie movie in <laughs> April. And then I gotta finish up. Rocky gotta shoot her. She doing this like it's it's. She doing this wild. This shit is she doing. She got puppets and all that. Some old like, Dusko goes to space meets Sesame Street. Oh, that's fine. Well, she got the pup. Yo, where the puppets at? And hey, Cash, where's the puppet? Where Dusko? Oh, yo, you know what? I'm putting out um my country music single, dedicated to Raquel, me and Nicolette on Valentine's Day. You always got some shit. You want to see the video? Look at this. Look, look. Let me see. On the ring. Wait, play it, play it. Look, 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 look. Look, look. Oh, that's me on my ranch. That's our river, too, by the way. You see the cowboy hat? 
Yo, you out of control, Dusko. Nigga out here on this John Denver. Dusko. My nigga, I did a country music album on a ranch with a cowboy hat. You on your John Denver? Holla at me. Huh? You on your John yeah, Denver? Shit. The horses. Oh, look at the horses. Dang. Those, no, I didn't. No, those, I'm not on a trail. That's my ranch. I'm riding horses. Y'all niggas oh, got I Mustangs. Know. I got Mustangs too, but they got saddles and all that. You know what I'm saying? That was a bomb. You feel me? <laughs> oh, look, look, look. look, that's how we came home on the jet, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stunned on you. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, you crazy. <laughs> you out here. Yo, I got to nigga. I can't. I got to stop. Yeah, but we, you know, that's that's what all niggas do. They go to ranches, put cowboy hats on, and sing country music when they feel like it. I respect you. Know? you yo, what's up? I know you own the river and shit, but when you coming back across the river, man, where we at, man? I'm actually going to be out there soon. I've been talking to um some people, uh, councilmen and stuff from Harlem. And they want me to do some stuff out there, and I want to do some stuff out there. I ain't gonna forget Harlem at all, you know what I'm saying? Ever, but I gotta come back right, you know what I mean? So you know, you know when I come to town, I'm only coming to town so everybody can eat. I'm not coming, I'm not coming around unless I can make sure everybody gets some money, you know what I'm saying? Or else there ain't no reason for me to be there. What I'm gonna do? Aggravate everybody? So I got enough for me, but and you know now I have enough to do what I gotta do for the rest of us. As far as you know, I did the rough stuff. We good. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right, right, to be right. honest, I, I got to respect the fact that everyone's been patient. You know what I mean? You know, niggas been like, yo, pull that trigger for years. Pull it. And I'd be like, relax. I'm just, it's not the time. And, you know, I'm 50 now, but now I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I'm 50 you know, now. I wanted to relax. You, want, you know, I wanted to open up art galleries. I wanted to hang out with y'all, run around the world. I wanted, you know, I just felt like being artistic for a couple of years. Have a baby, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanted some time for me, you know? And what I understand is until I'm all right, I can't make anybody else all right. That's a fact. So I had to get my together. I had to get my family right, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I had to be able to do things on my own. I didn't want to have to kiss, you know how I am, bro. So I had to flip. You know what I mean? You know, I, I'd rather not have no money than have to listen to people. I just, I don't care. But, you know, I've been able to work it out where I can have both. You know what I mean? On my terms. And that's all that counts. And one of, one of the, the tests is caring what people think. You know what I mean? So, like, what was presented to me was, my man, if you want freedom, everybody got to think you're living a certain way, even though you're not. Mm. Is that going to bother you? Hell no. With that bother me, I don't give a fuck what somebody thinks. So that test was easy to pass for me. You know what I mean? So you saw when they was bombing on me, saying niggas was cracked and all that. I'm sitting in the art gallery, chilling, running around the world. Facts. Making records with like most deaf and, and Jay Electronica and the Black Keys and all that, just because I felt like it. That's a fact. You know? And we was still way ahead of the game. I was just waiting for niggas to catch up. You know? We had the five Ds before, you know what I mean? We, it, it, look, Cootie and Sheikha, all that today. You know what's funny? You I'm, saw that? What, the um, Kanye movie? Yeah. I didn't see it yet, but I heard it was good, though. Yeah, it got good footage. But a lot of it is about Kanye thinking that I gave him a record deal and, and, and that I wasn't going to give it to him. And I'm like, so he was all worried for nothing. Either way, once we <laughs> said we had a deal, <laughs> I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, what? why does he think I wasn't? What is he doing? I would have been mad to be signed with somebody else. That's what made you know what I'm genius, bro. Well, that's what look, made it part. And look, look, and also, let's not act like for all the killing scenes, I ain't got the opera and all that. This is very artsy fartsy. It is very artsy fartsy. Even with very the nigga smoke, even with the nigga hitting the uh, hitting the stem, it was it was mm -hmm. artsy fartsy. No, it's very it's gangster artsy fartsy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, but you know, again, that was me actually practicing. You know, cost me. A million dollars but i learned a lot you know what i'm saying it's a good flip huh? nah that's well 
They had a hole in his head as digital. But the other shit is not. No cobran hoy. Yeah, we definitely did. You could tell it was digital? Got it? You can tell? I don't care. The name of the tell? movie is Honor Up. It's on Fox Soul, it's on Amazon Prime, it's all over. You get it, it's on Tubi, but it's playing on it's streaming on Fox Soul right now, live on television. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So you can get it from your phone, all that. You know what I mean? Yo, let me ask you a question. You know about um fish tables? Fish tables? Yeah. Nah, I don't. All right, we'll talk about it offline. Right. <laughs> no. Yo, Nicolette, could you pull up the fish tables they, they was talking about? Yeah. Talking soon? Yeah, I'm going to tell you about this. Man, this is crazy. But it's a lot going on. I got so some cool to talk to you about, too, uh, offline. You're going to be proud. All right, bet. Bet. Word. Well, so when you coming when you come in L.A., though, pause. End of the month. I'm coming, okay. like, around the 26th, 27th. The 27th? Yeah. I'm making I'm gonna make the announcement in Tampa next Monday. Can you um can you text this to me? Yeah. It says prices? Yeah. How much are they? A thousand to six thousand for the table. A thousand to six thousand? Yeah. What, the six thousand got the four people one? Um, it goes up to oh yeah. Gonna we need that. Yeah. Oh, it could, it could have ten people at a table? That's what it says. Okay. Oh send me that. Send me a picture of that. Oh man, we about to get this bread. So he has a couple of little ventures, open, you know, hotels, a lot of a lot of real estate plays lately. You notice I've been having a tie on, right? Nah, I see. I, I've been. I mean, but that's not really nothing new, to be honest. Yeah, I always but, do that. Yeah, you always do that. So I didn't really think nothing else. I'm just like, oh, you on the slot, you know what I mean? But you know, I expected you to get into the real estate after a while. But so much other shit you could do before you really, you know what I mean? It's bread deal. Nah, it's all about the bricks. It's right there. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put your coach to some things that are real easy, yeah. especially you know, real easy. You want you want a football team? Let me know. <laughs> I like that. That's the kind of games I'm playing. Do you want a football team or not? And you know the funniest is niggas may think it's fronting, but it's so funny. Not even you're not even playing. <laughs> dead serious. <laughs> That's the funniest part of the whole. Smoke. Do you want a football team? I'm asking you. Yeah, I want a football team, nigga. What type of question is that? I want right, everything I can get. Market. Anything that I can, everything I can get, I want, nigga. I want it all. I got a team available. You could, you could see what I want to do is I'm a, um, cause I have a model, and I think it's gonna work, you know, and um, but I want to try it out this year before I expose any of my friends. But it's like if you do it right, it should be relatively easy and very profitable. But if you want to play, play, because I'm I'm playing a couple of my millionaire friends. We playing games like we 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 have these different games. So he was like, we'll get we we'll each get a team and we'll play each other. But you, you know, like it, it'll just be us having a little personal competition, and then also it's like who can make the most money off their team. You know what I mean? But I do have one available in North Carolina. But what I was gonna do, I, I'm, I'm doing right now. We're gonna do the teams that I'm personally with. Or Tampa, right? Um, uh, Tampa Cyclones. I'm gonna send it to you. Yo, can you send Smoke Dizzle the, the, the Tampa Cyclones deck real quick? Yeah, and then possibly the Vegas team. Mm. You know what I mean? You want to get? You want to? Uh, you know what? You only you want to be part of the Vegas team? I like Vegas. Sound like a lot of money. Sound like a money play. Well, here's the thing, right? Because um, Boogie's out there, and I always love. He's in Boogie because uh, he likes the Giants and they always lose. But I like the Raiders. You know? <laughs> so I was like, yo, you, I was going to have him and take that team and like have him with it so that at least I could be teasing him when we beat him. So we could have like a challenge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, oh, I got a Jerry Jones too. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, he, I just think the fact he's the one that is the main component to, you know, he's the, he's the guy, you know, for them, from what I know. And I want to know why there's no black owners. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Huh. And I left my wallet like a my fat You got no wallet? I left my my other pants. You carry a wallet? I don't even carry a wallet around. You carry a wallet around? I don't like carrying around cash. I like carrying around my. Card. I don't carry around cash. Is played out. I don't never carry around cash. It's trash. Yeah, you know what I mean, cash. I, I got a couple dollars on me, so I'm alright. I don't never. I don't never carry no money ever. 
I don't think I touch money. Money is dirty. I haven't touched money in years. To me, I feel you, man. But money, the, money is to me, dirty, the testament man. of real wealth is when you never have to touch the money. I feel you, man. But you know, you know I, mean? I like, like I, I like cash. When you got money, like you don't walk around with money. In your to me, I like, you know I like I mean? cash sometimes. I like to give it to my kids. They be nah. running down on me, and mm -hmm. they got accounts. I fold them, I send them, but I like that cash. means they got to go spend it's it. Cool. They got to touch. Money's too dirty. Too many people touch it. It makes me feel good. Mm -mm. You don't know where that dollar bill. That should have been anywhere. Such is life, Dusko. That's why they made hand sanitizer. Money is old school. That's always that's old school. You see, they're just making up currencies now. That's a fact. You feel me? What up, what up, what up? Yo, you, you would want to get. <laughs> What's Act up, up Yo, when you walk into the studio, my nigga. When you walk into the studio. Nah, I'm actually about to go see my my homie. He got a little birthday thing going on in the bowling alley. So I'm on, I'm now, on what you call COVID or something? You got three months or something? What you call COVID? You can just go around for three months? You said I'm what? You know, once you catch COVID, you're invincible for three months. I'm vaccinated. All right. You better put hey, a mask on it. I mean, it went down out there, right? Thing. I'm going to call you when I'm done. All right, cool. All right. Make sure you tell everybody in there to watch TV right now. Watch Honor Up right now on my... Fox Soul streaming right now. Hey, yo, Dusko, I love you, nigga. I'm going to call you the fuel. I love you, too. Look, yeah, I'm a smoke desert. That's my man, Paul. He, uh, he could, 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 do, could do consistent, you know. Sometimes people are good dudes for, like, two weeks, and then the dad dude starts to ooze out of them. Pause. Huh? Oh, it's um King Dusko. But... I only go enough. I, I, you know, I, I get high on my own supply, so I don't have enough. To, <laughs> I don't have enough to sell to nobody. I keep smoking all my. Sh you feel me? No problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't. I, I can't get in the weed business because you can only out here. You can only grow like ten acres at a time, and I smoke ten acres at a time. You feel me? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's the senator right there. He said he smoked ten acres. <laughs> Niggas ask me like, "You want a pound?" I'm like, "Nigga, I need ten acres." Give me. Don't try to disrespect me. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm copping acres when I when I cop. <laughs> <laughs> Stunting on the senator. See that? I be stunting on senators. You feel me? You know what I mean? Now nah, the senator, we should have seen what he's doing today. Let me take. You can see what he's doing today. Senator, that was stunning. Yo, we pulled up. Yo, tell you, we pulled up like billions, right or wrong. Yeah. Everybody had the um, the um, the, the trucks. We went and start opening all chippy. Then we had the Lambo out there in the, in the car. We was, we was starting today. Tommy pulled up. We like this. What? We'll take it. <laughs> How much? Let's do it. Now we have some fun. Yeah, you know, it's funny because, you know, like, when you remember where you came from and the things that you do that are like, damn, I saw this in the movies. When you're really doing it, you got to celebrate that. You know what I mean? You know, it was a 20, 2019, I think, or 2018. 2018, but that was the new, you know, the whole situation was dope. So there's some interesting things to mention. Oh, there's Corey Wings right there. It was popping. New TV show coming out with Corey. You know, we'll come shoot that. Matter of fact, yo, he sent Corey sent the email. Do we ever go through that email? No. We need to go through that email. We gotta go through that email because we just been doing a lot of Corey, my bad. We gotta um it's cause he had to I'm ready to shoot whenever you're ready to shoot them. So just let me know. Learn a lot about you know panda bears and penguins. You know penguins are good fathers. I didn't know that. But I know that now. I want that on Corey's show. What? Huh? What happened? I know you're still on here. Oh, yeah, I'm still on here. Okay, she wanted to tell me something, but she thought. I do, I do. What you want to tell me? Is it private? Yes, it's private. Okay. Yes. It's private. Is it bad or good? It's crazy good. Crazy good? Yes. This is what I'm reading. Oh, send me that? I did. I sent you a lot of Oh. Show that to the senator. Uh oh, he's checking out. He's definitely checking out. So, so? Yeah. So the senator. So the senator. So, yeah, so basically, when the senator comes through, 
we, we, we plot and plan and, and, and everything we're talking about is making things better for everybody. What laws need to get passed and, you know, who's not doing the right thing, you know, you know, who needs to be elected, who needs to be unelected, you know, pardon? Who? Oh, okay. All right. So, you know, so that's just popping. That's good. Let him come on. We, uh, he can watch TV. Let's close the deal. Oh, homegirl? Deal's about to bother you close. We're good. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we pop in. We're going to make some music tonight, watch movies, make big deals. Yo, show up. You show them? Show them the cinema. Show them the cinema. You saw that? No, nah, they were saying, homie, checks out. It's legit. I don't think you can front on a senator. You know what I'm saying? You can't be bogus on the senator. See, the good thing is when you, when you, when you like, you know, um, you're vetting somebody to make, because people present things that are a lot of times not true in business. So you have to make sure things are honest, that people present exactly what it really is. But, you know, we have friends like senators and principals. Big, a big congratulations to Dennis from the OSG. Yo, you heard about Dennis? The, the mayor made him head counsel for... Uh, or I had something for, for, for education. Yeah. What? Just like I said they would. The mayor. Before the mayor got elected, he had a, he came and seen us on the Zoom. Yeah, I told you that shit was going to happen. Why wouldn't it? You know? So, yeah, get chat, big congratulations to Dennis. He just run the education with the mayor or something. Hopefully, I'm allowed to make that announcement. But at the end of the day, we're, you know, we're part of the, the, the commission. And um, that's what we do, the commission. And um, again, we get together, Senator Eddie Milton, Congressman Andre Carson, Bishop Pinnell, Dr. Pinnell, do it all, run for city council, uh, Melanie, therapy, Tosh, therapy. And, you know, we just fight for what's right. My man Omar, I'm surprised Omar's not on the line. My man Omar out there copping, getting all the directors, curate man directors for Dame Dash Distribution. And then we got Reed out there killing them in the meta world, the metaverse. So, you know, we're thinking in dimensions right now. Hopefully y'all thinking in dimensions right now. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, go to Fox Soul right now and check this shit out. Hear me. You know, I, 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 I know what I was fighting for. I wanted to have my own television network independently. You know, I didn't want to have to borrow no money. I didn't want to have to raise a fund. I wanted to own the content. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. And I was able to do that. And, you know, this is just the beginning. You know, don't, you know, don't underestimate the fact Fox Soul is Fox. You know what I'm saying? It just says soul with it. So having those kind of people with you, they do the right thing, we're going to get money. You know? The thing about having a, a television network, I'll, I'll, I'll teach you the game, is that if you don't have an ad team, you don't get paid. You get paid from the ads. And no one's giving up their ad team. I don't give a f who it is. Anyone with a television network, they'll tell you everything. But you start asking about the ad team, uh, 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 it's like asking a designer about his factories. They get real personal about that. You know, it's like somebody trying to ask me if my chef could work for them. And I'm like, bro, so what, how do cook for me when they cook for you? I don't get it. You know what I mean? So it's that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, we got a network. And the movies that we making, you know, again, the reason why I f with a Smoke Dizza, or Daniel, or anybody else is because they believed in my vision. So I told them, like, you know, we're going to make this now, but it's going to live forever. It might not be on TV today, but it will be on TV tomorrow. We will make a franchise. It will be celebrated. See, my work is sometimes so futuristic that people just don't get it for years. That's why I smoke weed, because I'm waiting for people to understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But I'm so used to it that it doesn't bother me anymore. But... My friends, the ones that really believe in me, they've been patient with me. You know, I've told them the plan, whether they understand it or not. They're like, yo, we, you know, we good. So this is also proof of concept. And that's big in business. When you say you're going to do something and you really do it, that's everything. And that's why your word, you always have to keep your word. So for me, my word is consistent. Because if you break your word, you got to start from scratch. If you're known for one thing and you do another, now you have to start and be known for doing the other. And hopefully the other is better. So even with Rockefeller, I was known for Rockefeller. It literally took, you know, 10 years for people to just, you know, they don't forget Rockefeller. 
But I'm not only known for Rockefeller, I'm known for fighting for the culture now. And I'm known for a lot of other things that are positive. Where before it felt like, you know, they were making me look like the poster child for like, you know, the rise and fall of someone that fought for his rights. And that wasn't gonna happen, you know? You're gonna see somebody fighting until he wins, which is a win, as long as you're still fighting. You know what I mean? And that's just how I see things. Um, so this is proof of concept. And I try to lead by example. So hopefully anyone else that has a dream and it hasn't come true overnight, it just means keep fighting, you know? And that's when you deserve your dream. It's when you're challenged and you knock that door down. You know what I'm saying? So again, this is me. It's, yo, this is the mayor of the town in the Catskills. I wonder if he's still the mayor. That's the real mayor. That was the real mayor. I remember that, I remember that. So. Again, the fact that I can make movies with my friends that I grew up with that have abided by the laws that I've signed on to. The fact that they can reap the benefits of being honorable, because honorable is everything to me. You know, things have changed. I haven't been in the street in a while, but I still live by the same street code that I lived by before I left the street. So I'm never gonna pretend like, yo, I'm in the street. I'm not in the street. I ain't been in the street in 20 years. But what I remember of the street is that I survived. I'm still living by those ideals. And it's all about honor. So for me, I don't fuck with nobody really that not only breaks my honor codes or fucks with people that break my honor code. And that's that. Those are my boundaries. And you have to respect that. Period. That's all. Like, if I don't agree with what you do, I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to say don't do it around me. And I will not be around you. And that's my choice. And you gotta respect that. Those are my boundaries. Period. Oh, Lays Elliott is there. What's up, Lays? What's poppin'? So Lays, you know, he like the Dame Dash M O P. Me and him architected the deal to get them off of Sony to come right to Rockefeller. And um he's also the person that introduced me to the uh OSG. And you know, that's 120, 30, 40, 50 schools all over the world, predominantly black principals. And already we've been building, Lays has been building, Dame Dash Studios in a lot of those uh, schools. But again, as you notice, nobody talks about that. You know what I'm saying? You know, they wanted to, if I walk into a wall and write about it, but you know, when I'm around black principals talking on and kicking it, they don't say a fucking word. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. That's why we have a network. And every Thursdays, a principal has a television show to showcase how great they really are. Because those should be the celebrities, period. So also, you got to surround yourself with people that have similar dreams. They have to be like-minded. <clears throat> they have to want the same things you want. And when you're around people that truly want to love, especially the ones that love children, they'll know if you really want to love. You know, flags will be raised if you're full. And we've been consistently around each other for years now. And uh, well, like a year and a half. And uh, everyone, no one's ever wavered. Everyone's always been the kids first. Word. Oh, Omar's in there. What's up, Omar Pauls? That's the head of acquisitions. And uh, let me see, who wants to get on? Let me see, Laser. Laser, you wanna get on here? Get Omar, oh, Faye back's there. Let me get Faye back. Let me get Faye back, let's see Faye. Hold on. Hey, what's up, Omar? What's good? What's good? You see what I'm doing? All right, Fox Soul. Yo, you see what's going on? Well, well, you know, uh, we doing paid in full part two. Omar actually went and was doing some scouting for me. Was well, yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. Yesterday I went over to uh, Ironbound over by Jersey, New Jersey. Went to go see um, Kenny. You know, Melody was with me, and um. You know, they got a real nice facility over there, man. 48,000 square feet inside, 21,000 square feet on the um, on the roof. Plus, he got a whole police station out there. You know what I'm saying? He could lock down the streets and all that. It's a good look. That's dope. So what I'd like to do is I wanted um, Fayback to be a part of the, the production. So offline... Cause he's, you know, he's uh, he's with with uh. First of all, his father was a member, one of the original members of the Lynch Mob, um, Farris. and but like you know, the whole time, um, that his father was gone, he's been a very stand-up dude, 
and very respectful, but always been positive, pushing forward, and 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 just always, you know, just representing the same old codes. You know what I mean? Right. And um, always made sure that me and Kev, even though me and Kev always talk, but he always made sure that, you know, the things that Kev doesn't see that I'm doing, he makes sure Kev knows. You know what I mean? Right. But, but right. definitely. But, but definitely, you know, he got to be a part of paying in full. And, you know, sure. you know me, if I say something publicly, that means I mean it. But 100%, I don't, we have, it, him, me, him, and, 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 and Kevin have been talking about this for about five, six years. How long have you been talking about this? Yeah, yeah, it's on YouTube. You did it on, on one of the uh, on the YouTube joints. You, you, you spoke about it. It's documented. It's definitely yeah. up there. So, you know, again... Literally, Kev has always been like, yo, I ain't talking to nobody because we got something that we spoke on. And I've always been like, just give me a second so we could do it right. And he's always been yeah. like, I trust you, you know? Yeah. So, you know, he's always, that, that crew is always a part of this, no matter what. You know what I mean? But definitely, uh, Faye got to be part of the, I, I like him to be a part of the production. And also, I'm For trying sure. to get him to play his father, potentially, <laughs> in, in the, in the, uh, in, in the, uh, part two because they had a part of you know I'm, I'm definitely going to tell the lynch mom's perspective because they were there you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like we were all yeah it's a different so dynamic the, the 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 uh the getters and the takers <laughs> you know yeah, basically, basically. Yeah. so yeah. you know we're doing all that but yeah right now we, we we're looking at honor up and you know honor up number one you know you know six be popping but i'm like yo <laughs> i i really did this without a script. I shot this movie without a script. And it was just based on how I was, how I looked at my personal experiences. I just shot my personal experiences, you know, based on my friends. And I just put the whole thing together and, and, and I actually de developed the narrative in the editing room. You know what I mean? Wow. Now, so the story. I, I would never do that again because it, it ended up costing way more money than it should have. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a million dollars, about eight hundred thousand dollars. Nah, I would say I could have knocked this out for four. So probably about six hundred thousand more than it should have cost, cause a lot mm -hmm. of violence. But now I'm better. You know, I did this years ago, and but it's real. Ba it's still based on actual experiences. So mm -hmm. the person that's playing Styles P is meant to be Lou Sims. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and that's my man that came home. He wasn't home when we were shooting it. Daniel was really. The first cat to hit me with some work, me and my man, Jay Black. That's Jay Black on the on the car. So that was Rich's real lieutenant. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now these mm -hmm. is facts. But I grew up. We was all friends in the street. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So the reason why I could tell the story is because I saw the story. But I only told one perspective. But the only reason why I only told one perspective is because I had to deal with them putting up the money, the wine stings. So they could only deal with one thing at a time and they couldn't, you know, I had to fight to get that right. So again, mm -hmm. what I wasn't going to do was put myself in another situation like that. So I mm -hmm. waited until I could do it right and tell all sides. Because there's so mm -hmm. many ways that this story affected the world and it's not just one story. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody is the part of the DNA of Payton Full. That was just one story of Payton Full. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, again, I'm transparent. And I'm very confident, you know, this isn't a story that I could if I got people around me that always tell the truth. So when I was making Pay the Full, I had Jay Black with me, next to me every single step of the way. So it could be nothing that we shot that wasn't true. And mm -hmm. even down to Faye, how old was you, Faye, back when you was <clears throat> in the movie? Um, I was 12. Wow. So he was 12 years old. That's crazy. He in yeah. the movie. If you see Pay the Full, you'll see him as a little dude. Okay. But the rest of the kids, the rest of the dudes in there, they was in rich I'm, school. I, I'm going to watch it tomorrow just so I can see. That's crazy right there. Wow. You know, it's yeah. you know, I never forget because I was in the seventh grade. I had on my uniform. So it was like after school uniform. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. That's how I could never forget the age and the time and the year. So that but was that know, was two, that was 2002. You know, was, I shot that. Cool, cool and swagged out, he wouldn't have been in there. You know what I'm saying? So he was a little Harlem young nigga. But, you know, yeah, because you know what? You know, all our families is connected. Like, I'm from that area. Like, I'm from 130th and Lenox. Rich is from 132nd and 7th. That's right around the corner. Like, we share the same supermarkets, the same, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit. His family and my family is close. You know what I'm saying? 
So that's how I was over there on that, even out there on that block around when they, when they was doing that. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. So can, can you imagine if, like, you did a story about Al Capone and Al Capone was really there to tell you if you're doing it right or wrong? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so yeah. this is what that, this, this, that's what this is. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I, yeah. I won't be able to do it, do it wrong. But again, at the end of the day, the theme of the night is honor and that honor pays off. And, you know, honor comes with patience as well. Because there's no test of your faith if, you know, nothing happens to test you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, 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 how are you going to know? So, you know, again, the test is, are you going to do what's not honorable? Are you going to cheat to try to get where you got to go? But if you had to cheat to get where you had to go, then in all of them, it don't count. Yeah. You know, if you gotta sacrifice your morals and your integrity to get it, then you know. Well, let's see. This ladies want to get on here. Let me see if ladies, ladies, you want to get on, nigga? Let's get on. You know what that's saying? what's up, man. On up on that Fox Soul, man. That's dope. Yeah, definitely. Keep pushing, keep pushing it. forward. Well, you know, again, maybe people don't understand the magnitude of me having my own television network and me being able to play what I want and how hard I fought for that. So, you know, this is just like one step hey, yo. toward the ultimate dream. Hey, but, look, you know, again. No, I don't think, like, you know, like you said, I don't think people understand the magnitude of what's really going on right now with it. Like, when we talked about all of this going on, it was like three, four months ago. You know what I'm saying? When you just, when you just had just Dame Dash Studios, just the platform, then, then you partnered up with the distribution. You know what I'm saying? And then, then you got with Fox, man. Happening quick, fast. That's a fact. He been said that like, yo, I got a twenty-four hour network, my all my own, yeah. running twenty-four hours nonstop. Yeah. It just well, keeps you know, kept creating more, more and more content, more and more content. I speak in the language that a lot don't understand. It's called boss, you know. So if you're not speaking in boss, you won't understand it. And if you're not, and if you are speaking in something different, I won't understand it. So that's why sometimes I'm misunderstood because I'm speaking a different language. But again, y'all got it. Y'all get it. Y'all talking, boss. You feel me? I feel like everybody that actually is on my live and that's on my gram and everyone that's paying attention, they get it. But not everybody yeah. gets it. And I don't want everybody to get it. You feel me? That's too many people. But for the select few that do, you know. Well, you know, point two, man the whole report so like dreaming big and 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 having faith and all that believe what it is that you do like you an innovator you know what i'm saying you you think ahead of the game you know what i'm saying like you see it before it comes so a lot mm -hmm. of them, you know, they not they not on that time like right like we on 5d everybody's still on two three you know what i'm saying yeah so, dan was best saying that like yo i'm way ahead of like i'm i'm years ahead of these niggas you you've you been saying that Right. Definitely been saying. And like they say, you got to trust the process. You know what I'm saying? Correct. You got to trust the process. Shit, oh. shit don't happen overnight. You got to stay on it. I'm going to put my team on the phone right now. Absolutely. And again, hey, oh, PF's on there. What's up? Harlem in the building. And again, I am sitting with a real senator right now. Look, so, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what's good? What's good? Chill up, chill up, man. It's all right. a rough night. That's right. All day. <laughs> Me and the oh, senator always, Mark, we always on our. <laughs> we we was we was we was art shopping and car shopping at the same time, but you know I'll tell y'all about that offline. I don't know how much okay. of that I can talk about, but okay. trust me, this is Michael Jackson big. Trust me when I tell you. You know what I mean? Dope. Mm. I promise you, it's mm. crazy. It's we about keep, to do. Keep you know working, big dog. We here. You know I'm here. One call All away, right. man. You All right. Understand? I'm putting, I'm going to get Paul's, I'm going to get Elliot on, I'm going to get Lays from MOP on. But yeah, so, you know, what's up? What's up, Lays? What up, baby? Come on, What's man. good, Lays? Salute to you, bro. Salute, salute, salute. Salute, everybody. All you know, right. Dame, I just want to, um, a couple of things, man. You know, first of all, congratulations again on everything you're doing. The Honor Rub is a dope flick, obviously. Paid in fuller, I call it. It's going to be even doper. Um, but you know me, I'm behind the scenes going hard. I wanted a couple of things I want to shout out before uh, 
before before y'all go on, um, I want to talk about that vision board thing that you had brought up with the OSU family. Today, Dr. Baez had a whole vision board convention with the OSU fam today, and um, I and you was definitely it was all with the ladies of OSG. You know, Denise McKeezy, uh, uh the Lioness, Fia Davis, the whole crew. Shout to complimentary conversations on Fox Soul right now. Mm-hmm. So shout out, shout out to that situation. Shout out to Eddie Eddie Melton, obviously. And um, you again, Eddie, like, give me shout out Eddie. Yeah, the brothers are definitely uh, calling it right. They're saying you're a visionary. I mean, you got your own way of doing things, man, and it's great. And a lot of times people don't see the plan until it come out. But that vision board conversation, a lot of brothers need to put that together too, not just the ladies. Put together their boards because they can't really see it unless they put it down on paper or put it down on something. That way they can get their ideas out in a a way that's successful. So, yeah, man, um, I wanted to shout you out for that. Um, and shout out Dr. Baez, who's running stuff in New York. Also, shout out Dennis, who is now the the chancellor coach in New York City. Mm. You He's know, the that's next chancellor level. Chancellor coach. Yeah, oh yeah, God. that's next level. And they're gonna make that big announcement. It's, it's such a big deal. <laughs> it's another level for uh, for the OSU family. You know, what I mean, we about these kids. Obviously, you know, I'm building studios. I just finished Dr. Malik's spot. That's Dame Dash Studio, East New York, Brooklyn. You know, I'm back in the hood. I'm back in Brooklyn, Brownsville, East New York. I'm in the Bronx. I'm in the South Bronx. And we're not out in these nice neighborhoods doing what we do. We're doing it deep in the streets. So I'm in the hood every day representing. So you got Dame Dash Studios all over different hoods right now in New York City. We we got 150 principals. We at least 20 deep as far as studios go. We're going to try to get 100 in. And Senator Melton, I need to come out to see you out in, um, in Indiana. So I can start building some damn dad studios out there too. Wait, wait, you right here? Tell me again. Yo, I need to Yo, come out to Indiana. Up, what up? What up? Come on, man. What's come up? on, baby. You know what it's it is. Okay. You know we we hollered we hollered the other day, man. You know, Dave. You know, listen, man. I'm gonna come out to Indiana, man. Build some broadcast rooms out there. I was up in Harvard last week working on some stuff, and I'm coming out to Indiana, man, because ultimately, uh, you know me, I'm I'm in the streets all the time, but you know. I'm a coach, man. When it come down to it, man, we want to make sure these kids get it right. We want to get them That's early, right. seven, eight, nine, ten years old, give them opportunities that we ain't have to do what we had to do. And now I figure if we get them young, get them right young, then we can train them the right way. That's the key. Mm-hmm. You know, salute to everybody that's been in the game doing it for a long time. But I think we got to turn around and focus on the young kids and get the young kids right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's, and that's how we change it. That's what they, that's what they doing. When I say they, I know who I'm talking about. They exactly. focus on their young kids, man. So let, let's focus on the kids. I ain't going to stay long, but I just wanted to to, 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 to give Damon's props because, again, he called it early. He called the vision board situation. And uh, shout to Dr. Baez and everybody that's doing that, doing that God's work with the kids. And they did a whole vision board convention today all about vision boards, all about getting everybody right and getting their plans together. It's one thing I'm going to tell y'all. We got a lot of talented brothers in the street, but sometimes they don't make the right plans. And I think Dane called it. When you put them vision boards together, that means you're putting your plans in action and you can walk them through. So, like I said, um, congratulations to everybody. You know, we don't be coming out to Gary. You know that, Senator Melton. You know that. Yeah, we're coming please. Out to Gary. And, you know, you got big things, too, that I ain't going to talk about right now. But, you know, I can't wait you to make those announcements. You know what it is. You, you already know. know. Yeah, you already know. But... <laughs> You know me, I'm behind the scenes. Like, I, I, I get in your ear and your paws, like Dame said. Like, I hollered at Dame the other day about something, man. Congratulations on this football league. I'm like, yeah. you know, I got my eyes and ears open, so I'm always hollering. And so if you need anything for me, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm a great advisor when it comes to just looking at things and, and, and figuring out ways to get it done. But anyway, shout again to Dame. Shout to everybody. Honor Up is a great movie. Paid and Fuller. That's what I call it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's the word. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So so let's let's get it popping and just know and also I want to shout out Billy Dance. He got that new Chief record out. They loving him right okay. now. Everybody giving him a lot of love out there. So you don't know, always represent my MOP first family to the fullest each and every day. So you know, salute to him. And Dan told a true story. Salute M O P stuff. Yeah, salute, salute to the home team. Uh we did something real crazy back in the days. And Dame always was 100% uh, with what he said he was going to do. 
And that's why anytime we do situations, I always call my brother and I always hold him down. And that's why I brought him to OSG because I felt it was going to be, like I said, it's a family now. So I appreciate that from him too. You know what I mean? But anyway, yo, salute to all y'all brothers doing that God's work out there, man. Like I said, Uncle's here. And I'm out here, man. I'm for these babies. And uh, I appreciate all y'all that's doing that work in these streets, man. Trust me, man. Every every little bit count, and it all means something. All right? Right. Definitely yeah. salute, B. That's love. Right, bro. Salute. Salute, y'all. Salute to you, I'm call you back. I love one. Nice, sir. Oh, yeah, that was my son, Boogie. I was telling him, you know, because we haven't been talking so much about the football. So, you know, I'm, or I haven't been telling y'all, but um, I was uh, – you know, I was just having uh, bugs. I, I'm, I'm giving him a team to help run so I can play him. So I'll just let him know about it. Right, uh, right, right. So, yeah, so we on Fox Soul right now, Dame Dash Studios. Um, um, honor up. It's the scene where uh, Primo and, again, this dude was my real, really in my life, my real OG, OG Daniel. First dude to hit me with a pack. Oh, my man, Danny. And, uh, That's my guy. <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, we able to put them in movies and really t make movies about our life. So I'm basically watching my life on TV. This is bugging me out. That's crazy. <laughs> That's fly. Yeah, also, also, my opera gunplay, is, you know, this is yeah, on. It's on. <laughs> this is your opera on the show. <laughs> so I'm on the live right now. Let's say what's up on the live. Maybe that's what you me. Uh, What's up, Cash? All right, so I got I got to put Baby Gus go to sleep real fast. I got to slump him. Oh, uh, no, let me. Just, just, just look at this rapid fire real quick, because this is where it gets it gets really get crazy. I'm gonna just look at the slow motion. I shot this with the Matrix camera. Watch out the slow. Watch out the shit start fire. And the thing about it is, none of these people are actors. A lot of them have just come home from doing this kind of thing. We get this one in the cat skills. They hear the opera with it too? Uh-oh, <laughs> watch that rapid fire. Oh, oh, oh. oh Lord. Yeah. Oh, man, you hear the opera? Oh, you see them bullets flying? That's that special like, like, motion right there. I like the scene with the locks too, when Kiss came out with the, with the ooh op and all that. This, this is, this is yeah. a special camera. It's Called the Phantom Camera, and that's it's like a mix. It makes everything super slow. Right, right. And the, see, I, I wanted to see the bullets flying. And shit. Mm -hmm. That's fly. And the reason why I use a revolver is because it has more movement. It looks cooler. Mm -hmm. You feel me? <laughs> you know what's crazy is there was um other things that I wanted to shoot of this scene, but you know with the Phantom, the lights go. You, they're gonna use it. And the lights went. I was pissed. Uh, it was other other angles I went. I was, get, I was about to get real ill. Trust me, I needed more time. But these are the kind of things you live and you learn, you know. So we, got anyway, time, we got time to do that on the next joint, you heard? That's right. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a monster now. I'm a beast. But you know, so again, I appreciate y'all. I look no forward question. to the future. Yeah, you too, too. Yo, you know, my God. Shout appreciate out to you. To my regards to your dad, Paris. Kev definitely, definitely. And, um, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him what you said. I'm gonna tell him what you said. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him what you said. I was just trying to think. I was like, who can he play? I was like, because he got that kind of tough demeanor. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But all right, let him know. All right, my God, appreciate you, Dame. Have a good one. Appreciate you, OG. All right, Joe. If you want another awesome video in our Black Excellence series, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.